Are we ready? Nope. I'm just gonna have my phone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to Daydreamers Barn. I am Jess. I'm Chris. And today we're going to be talking about things that we love and things that we have also started to notice a little bit more since we've been here since October of 2022. So almost a year. Just about. Just about, yeah. So without further ado, if we want to jump right into it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, so one of the first things that we noticed was the restaurants. Yeah, so what what we've taken, you know, like taken in is the amount of time that, you know, in the United States, they want you in and out, like really quick. You sit down, you get your food, and you're out so the next family can come in. Here, it's like you're it's like a leisure thing you get to kind of enjoy you're there for a couple of hours you're enjoying your drinks you're enjoying your food you don't get bothered <laughs> you know it's just relaxing yeah. in the united states it's like everything's gotta be so fast and here i i think it's just a relaxed environment yeah more more of an event yeah you yeah you know you're able to just enjoy yeah. being with your friends or family or whoever you're with at dinner. So, yeah. All right, next one is livestock in towns and, and or villages. Yeah, so we have really noticed that quite a bit, you know, taking our almost weekend drives that in, you know, entering the towns, you see more horse, you know, horses, sheep, and you know Chicken. chickens and ducks you know in like people's front yard <laughs> in the united states that would be only in rural areas yeah. that you would see that uh you know it would not be in any kind of city limits or anything like that uh, I mean, not at all maybe a little bit but definitely not to the extent maybe city by city in america but definitely not to the extent they do over that here. yeah and and i enjoy that it it <laughs> makes my heart so happy um so yeah i i love seeing because there's a town that we drive through the guy uh, or the family have sheep right in their front yard and they haven't had them or like ducks so they'll mm -hmm. rotate and they haven't had anything out there just yet so hopefully they bring them back but maybe not i don't know so yeah uh next one is public transportation how it's viewed by the public yeah so we're not a hundred percent sure how it's viewed here but it's used more it's more of a common practice right and you you have public transport that is readily available to you anywhere and everywhere yeah. here in you know in the uk in the united states if you're in a rinky dink town you do not have a, a bus coming through unless you've got a greyhound bus <laughs> But that's few and far between. Yes. You have to go and get your friend to give you a haul down to the biggest city or town. <laughs> yeah, it's not on a constant base like it is here. I mean, yeah. every hour or so, all the little towns, you can go to or from London bus, or whatever yeah, the case is. Yeah, a bus stop or the bus stop will take you to the nearest train mm -hmm. station. I just, I it is, it is quite convenient and I really like that and enjoy that here. Yeah. Uh, next one is how police patrol that we've noticed, uh, specifically being in the rural areas. Yeah. What we see when we're out there, we don't really see as mm -hmm. many um, in, yeah. the, in the cars, but we see a lot of the um, the cameras. The cameras. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, that's one big difference. I mean, there are cameras in the states, but they're typically in the big cities. Yeah. Um, not used to seeing them as much in the rural areas. Well, yeah, and you don't see as many patrols as you do in the United States. Right. In in the United States, you see them every yep. every couple of miles. Yeah. You know what I mean. You're you're going you're bound to <laughs> see a cop every turn you take. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's see next one. Uh, public walking paths. Oh yes, uh, we are going to start enjoying those a little bit more. Um, we have a couple, like the farmer has, and you know, people are just allowed to park 
and just walk on these walking paths in the United States. People are like, nope, this is my property. You can't walk on it. I absolutely even, love that here. Or even the public uh, public land doesn't really have... Like nice walking paths. Yeah, pathways yeah. To, to go down. Yeah, or, or they, you know, I don't know. I just Not I to think the extent that they do here, for sure. Yeah, no, yeah. that is one thing that we have truly appreciated. And, you know, I, I think we need to take advantage of it a little bit more than we do. Yep. Um, I know that there's an app. I don't know the app, but there is an app that you can get or like a map that you can get of all of the walking areas. I know somebody had commented. Um, I just have to look for it and one. see. Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, how they drive around bikes and horses. Yeah. So, in the United States, uh, there's no care in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, over here, you you wait until you slow down. It's clear to pass, you know, a bike, a bike, a bike, or a horse and buggy, or somebody on horseback. You you want to take care of everybody that is on the road because they belong there just like you do. It just like the tractors and stuff. You see those more on the road as yeah. well. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the the horses too, just because. Yeah both lanes slow down yeah. and, and respecting the animal that's out there so i think that's a really cool thing i do too you know and you get to see the people that are on the horses you know they take notice when you slow down and you pass them they, mm -hmm. they do their their kind wave makes my heart happy <laughs> uh, let's see motorcycle licenses here compared to the u.s as far as how they earn them yeah, I don't know much about that. I'll let you talk about it because you work with people that... Yeah, so in the States, we just get our endorsement. Uh, we go through a basic course, get okay. your endorsement, and you're able to ride. Uh, here, from what we've understood, is that you have to kind of graduate yourself up from different class of motorcycles, starting, yeah. I think, at 50cc and, and going up um, to I where... Think, yeah, yeah it, it definitely... I, I can see the, the positives in it. I do. Um, I see... It. I, I think it would allow people to appreciate the power that you have, yeah. you know, because you see all of these horrible accidents in the United States with kids that get a motorcycle and they don't know the power that they've got underneath them. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, the different humor here compared <laughs> to the States. Yes. So... In the United States, you know, a humor, a humor is, you know, you're just, you know, it's a banter back and forth, you know what I mean? Here, it's, if you like someone, it is a insult. If you do not insult them, you know, it's, you really, you really don't like them. <laughs> um, and if you're like weirdly nice, um, or you just don't talk to them at all, you don't like them. So that is that is one thing that I've realized. And, uh, you know, at first it took me, it took me back people poking at me and like, like, are, are you being for real? Are you being mean? Are you taking the piss? Uh, you know, what is, what is happening? You know? And then I realized like, oh, okay. And so, you know, I do it right back. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I enjoy it. It's totally different than what uh, what I'm used to, but yeah. I'm getting used to it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so next one is the oh the school breaks that they have over here for the for the kids. Yeah. So in the United States, they have like two months for summer. They have a week or two for Christmas break. Over here, it's like terms. You know, they get off for a couple of weeks here and there, but it's not like a two month break. Yeah, I, th I think when we really noticed that was this summer when, you know, the kids were out for about a month yeah. and we kept seeing the school buses, yeah. you know, continuously through the summer. It was like, oh, okay, yeah. That, that's sense. one of those those big things that, yeah, is different. It, it, you know, it feels like more of a year round school mm -hmm. um, than, than what we're used to in the United States. There are some schools that are year round that do like the short breaks, the terms and stuff, but not many. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, oh, the nitrate in the water. 
I don't know about this. You just found this out. I I had no clue. See, so yeah, we just found this out. Um, the nitrate level in the water uh, is, I forget the exact um, numbers it is, but I know the, the baseline is whatever parts per million or whatever the case is. It's like, we have a standard in America, 10 parts per million. I think it's parts per million. Um, and I thought that was, I, I didn't know, I didn't have anything to compare it to, but yeah. turns out that the UK uses, I think it's NATO standards. Um, that's 50 parts per million, um, which yeah. I didn't think was a huge difference, but apparently it, it is. is. So I thought that was interesting. I don't know what the, the average level is when uh, with the councils around here, but uh, I thought it was very interesting seeing that there's a, a big gap that way. Yeah. Yeah, if there's any corrections, I'll put that on the screen. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. Um, let's see. The weather. Yes. <laughs> so, I, you know, the weather is, is, I think a lot of people that are coming over here, they have like this bad thought, oh my gosh, it's going to rain mm -hmm. all the time, every day. And that's just not freaking true. Yeah. Okay, it'll be moist or wet, you know what I mean? But it's not like pouring piss out of a boot all the time. It's, you know, you can still go out and enjoy the time. Bring a flipping umbrella. It's not going to stop you. I think that that is one thing that I've truly loved is being able to see all of the green like the green hardly dies except when it's super hot and we haven't had any rain yeah i think that's kind of one of those misnomers like when we went to north dakota we yeah. were thinking oh it's gonna be cold yeah the entire time but quite the quite the contrary it's actually pretty hot in the summertime in north yeah. dakota um but what we really enjoy about here is that it's pretty mild temperature throughout the year it's it is absolutely beautiful here and we have been able to enjoy every weekend you know it's not stopped us from going and enjoying our time yeah, yeah. so yeah yes indeed let's see oh beach day oh yeah Here compared to back home so i we've been watching what is it rich uh rich holiday poor holiday or yep. something like that so we've been watching that on netflix and it made us realize that the beach day that we picture in America, you know, in America or in the United States, we picture it, you know, going with your little bikini, taking your beach towel and running out and then, Hot you know, just days. laying yep. out, getting a suntan and going sandy into the, yeah, sandy beaches and running out and just enjoying the nice, you know, water here. We've been watching and they're out in their like trench coats, you know, water, waders. You know, like waders. And I'm like, what, what is this? This is not, they said, yeah, we're going to have a beach day. I'm like, that's not a beach day. <laughs> not to me, but you know, I just got a giggle out of it. I, you know, it's totally different than what we are used to in the United States, but we're going to have to have one of those so we can check that off Experience and say and you know see if we enjoy that because there was one that they were you know gathering fossils and that's something totally different than what we're able to do in the united states in on the beach day yeah so you know we probably will enjoy that even more than bikinis and sun <laughs> so yeah uh next one is how the homes are built here. Oh, yes. So I think, you know, they're just built to last. I think we've touched on this once before, yeah. but well, it is truly built to last, like withstand the test of time. Yeah, and we're really thinking about it too with uh, our plans when we get back to the UP as yeah. far as how we're gonna build our house there and try and take notes here. And it's yeah. like, well, these, this is a little bit different than what we're used to back yes. in the States as far as how it's built. Um, and so we're kind of thinking, hey, can we can we do these things? I don't know. I don't think it, cost wise, I don't think it's is cheap in the states yeah. to do bricks. Also, I don't think our house will be able to with, withhold support bricks. that. Yeah, yeah, because we're not on a slab foundation. Right. So yeah, 
but yeah i i i truly appreciate how homes are built here yep. and that they are truly built to withstand the test of time yeah. you know and stay you know looking pristine mm -hmm. yeah yeah i think overall there's a the, the quality is pretty good here like it yeah the, but just the roofs yeah, themselves that's what the roofs. you know what i mean i I, I love how the roofs here look. You know, you have the thatched roofs, you have the tile roofs. I just, I truly appreciate the architecture here. I cannot stress that enough. Like every town, it's like, I fall in love with it because it's something just like this little unique piece of history. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Uh, let's see, next one. The roadside stands. Yes. I, so where we are from and all of the places that we've been, I haven't seen very many. There, there definitely there'll are be, some. There will be some sprinkles here and there, but here, that those honesty boxes, I absolutely love. And anytime we see them, we try to stop and we try to just appreciate that and that person's time and just buy a little something from their stand because yeah. I I know, you know, that person's put their their time and sweat equity into something that I can take home and enjoy. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Uh we we've really enjoyed it quite yeah. a lot of our trips, whether we're going somewhere, we're like, oh, hey, let's grab this for, for dinner tonight or, yeah. or for whatever the case may be. I and I, I wanna take it back to the the united yeah. states and do one where we're at um hopefully this weekend um today is um august 15th you'll see this on the 20th hopefully on the 20th so hopefully we'll be heading up to bloom and gray it is a person on youtube um, i'm hoping to be able to stop at her flower stand up north in Yorkshire, 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 Yorkshire. Um, so up in Yorkshire. So hopefully we'll be able to check her little uh, flower stand out. That's um, that's our plan this weekend. So yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, oh, the amount of birds here. Yes, <laughs> it is crazy. I don't know if it's because we live. On a farm, yeah. you know what I mean, and we see so many. What did he call? What did Roger call them? I don't remember. I don't know. So they, uh, for uh, to us, they look like crows, it's the but they're crow. but it's not. I guess they're bigger and they have a gray beak. A gray beak. So in the comments, let us know what they're called. Um, but yeah, we see a ton of pigeons and seagulls yeah we're on an island so that's that's you know but it just blows my mind with the vast array of birds you know the wild peacocks that we have yeah. down the road it's Pheasants. just yeah the the amount of it's just crazy with how many birds y'all have here it is wild and we have noticed that there's a lot more of the uh or less of the predator birds mm -hmm. yes. compared to the, the the typical prey birds, I guess you would call it. Right. Um, we're seeing a lot more hawks and eagles and stuff like that in the States. Yeah, that's um, true. That's true, that's true. Let's see. <clears throat> um, oh, the amount or lack thereof for large predators as far as the animals, since we're on animals. Yeah, so, I don't, I have not seen like the badgers. Yep. I think those badgers are. Badgers and foxes, yeah. I think are the, the bigger uh, the predators that you would see. Um, Cause I'm talking to them over here. That's the biggest they get. Yeah. In the States where you used to see anything from bears and. Yeah, we had before leaving, lions. before leaving our farm, they had a bear, not even a couple of blocks up the road from us. I saw us. a wolf on the road. Yeah. Down, a, a huge a huge gray wolf <laughs> yeah um so you know it's i'm not used to not seeing like predators yeah 
Yeah. So, yeah. Just, you know, go. The lack of billboards or advertising they have here. Yeah. Uh, you don't know until you are right on that, you know, that business mm -hmm. or the, you know, food that you're going to. In the United States, you see billboards, you know, five, ten miles yeah. out, you know, to tell you what's coming up. And here, I, I haven't seen any, not even on the um, motorway. Yeah, definitely not the size we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing, I mean, you're talking... Yeah. probably five meters wide yeah. um, billboards in the States and here. I mean, you'll have a couple of them, but they're, you know, just a, just a, a meter or so wide yeah. um, in comparison. But yeah, it definitely does not stick out and draw your attention like we're used to seeing. Yeah, no, which is, which is weird. It's nice because you get to enjoy the... Just the, to enjoy the scenery. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's one of the things that we've truly enjoyed is just being able to enjoy your this island yeah. you know what i mean it's because it is so lush and green it is gorgeous unless you're looking for something yeah and then you're like where is it uh let's see i think lastly we have the dedicated area to wildflowers on the farm yeah so we just found this out from um our landlord he was taking us to show us where the slow bushes um, and the blackberry bushes are, so we could go and pick some of those. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Yeah, we're gonna some slow gin. Yeah, we're gonna make some slow gin, um, and then some blackberry cobla. So, um, but yeah, the the amount of space that they have to dedicate to wildflowers for the pollinators. I think is fabulous. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely allergic to bees, as you heard in the last <laughs> video, but I absolutely love the bees and know how important they are to our environment and our produce yeah. and yeah, just everything. Yeah. Well, honey, if you take a spoonful of honey, it can help you with your allergies. Yeah. So yeah. The good honey. The good local honey <laughs> at that. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's all we got on the list. That's all we got. But I know we'll have more, but we really just wanted to share with you guys more of what we love about the island you call home and that we get to call home. Um, because we are loving this adventure. It is it is truly been I don't know. I I miss home, but I can also call this my home away from home. And being able to go and explore and be able to learn something every time we go out. Yeah. I think that is um, was one thing that we're just trying to take it all in as much as we can. And, you know, just share it with you guys along the way. And we appreciate everybody coming along with us. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. As always, be safe, my friends, and thank you.